Hello, Doofiend here, coming to you from the real world, which is similar to DICS world in that there's a lot of pointless conflict, but has fewer explosions. Uh, in front of me is my Logitech G Flight rudder pedals, which are made of plastic and a little bit chunky. I just don't like the feel of plastic sliding on plastic, and, well, they broke. Uh, the potentiometer went out on them, and I was looking for a replacement anyway. Uh, so when it did die, I replaced it with a Chinese unit. Um, this one, these are the Falcon S1 rudder pedals, if you want to call that name brand. Uh, I actually am really impressed with them, except for the fact that they don't work. <laughs> uh, most of them do work. Uh, my uh, my unit was shipped with a board that wasn't programmed correctly and rather than deal with all the hassle of returning it because it took um, it took four weeks for the seller to realize they hadn't shipped it and then another week for it to get here once I'd convinced the seller that they had not shipped it and when it did arrive that wasn't programmed correctly and rather than return it I am just going to reprogram it myself. Um, I actually really like this. This is thick aluminum, thick plate aluminum. It's got a damper on here. Uh, it's got a spring with uh, a camming system on it. So there's a, a variable spring resistance there. It's actually really physically nice. It's just electrically not working yet. Uh, I plugged it in and flight simulator and DCS it saw it as a gaming device, but did not register the input from the pedals. Uh, it just means that it was programmed incorrectly. Uh, so I'm going to take it on as a project, and I don't have an end result yet. So I will let you know in the multi-part series here how this goes. Uh, but this is what I intend to use. Um, it's really nice to have rudder pedals for warbirds. It's absolutely essential, I think, to have good rudder pedals for flying helicopters. That's my opinion. Um, oh, but let me show you the scope of the project here. This is the microcontroller board that shipped with the, the Falcon S1 pedals. It's an STM32F103. I don't know, it's got a lot of letters, but it's a $4 part on eBay, basically. Um, I don't have any experience programming this particular chip, um, but I do have a lot of experience with the Arduino Leonardo, and this is the one I intend to use. It's just the same chip. It's the, basically the same board. It's a 32, uh, 32U4 chip, so that's what's used in the Leonardo. It's not nearly as powerful as the STM32, but it does have a native USB hosting, and that's what I've been planning on doing anyway. So how you would use one of those is you would use a sensor, so, uh, something like that. This is the a potentiometer that's got a metal matrix resistor that um, has a wiper arm, so it basically is one big, fat, long resistor, and that wiper arm touches the resistor and basically divides it in half as the knob is turned around. It gives you a, a different resistance as it's turned. Um, that can be read by the microcontroller. This is a rotary encoder, and that is also um, used as a as interpreting rotational input to a microcontroller and another type of sensor is the hall effect sensor which is actually two hall effect sensors at 90 degrees off of each other you take basically take a magnet and as the as you rotate the magnet the magnetic field changes between the those two sensors and is able to be be interpreted as rotational output and output as a a uh, number so that the microcontroller can use it. So 
The Falcon S1 uses a, a Hall effect sensor. Um, the Logitech G Flight was one of these. What happened was that this fat resistor uh, made out of a metal matrix, it flaked off and was giving me inconsistent readings across the movement. And uh, yeah, it was just, it just physically failed because of the, the contact points. Um, the Hall effect is completely contactless, completely frictionless, and the rotary encoder has very little friction. Um, yeah, so I'm going to use one of those types of approaches. I would like to use the Hall effect sensor that's built into the Falcon S1, um, but that is basically the scope of this project. It's also why I haven't been flying helicopters in the past five weeks because I've been dealing with all this nonsense. Um, but hopefully I will have updates soon and be able to use this unit which I think is physically great. Um, yeah, I really like that. So stay tuned. Uh, this is the end of part one. Um, part two hopefully will look better and use not my iPhone as a camera. So stay tuned. I will see you in a future episode. If you like this kind of content, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe.